It's howdy doody time! Hello, I'm Shannon Kring and I call myself Goddess Kring. Guess what? I'm feeling very cynical today. I'm going to vote for Bernie Sanders no matter what because Bernie Sanders is the only politician running for the President of the United States that I actually believe in and agree with. And I feel like the United States of America voting system is a lie and a scam and it's all really about the college electoral and the superdelegates anyway. So I went to the caucus. I caucused for Bernie. I volunteered to be a delegate. I will do it. I will fulfill my mission of being a delegate and vote for Bernie. I'm seeing the photos of all of the other female, I don't even want to say her name because I'm not really a big fan of hers. I love that she's a woman running, but I just, her policies are too conservative for me. When you see pictures of the Bernie Sanders rallies, like several thousand people show up very enthusiastically and there's huge lines to vote for him. When you see the photos of the rallies for the female running in the Democratic Party, Hillary Clinton, I'll say her name, it's a very small crowd and not, not huge amounts of enthusiasm. So it's like, I wonder how many people really prefer her over him and how many people are just gonna vote for her because they think that's safer because she's a more mainstream person and the Republicans are so much worse and really cruel and inhumane and disgusting and corrupt. But the thing is, I think our system is a lie and I think that whoever the bankers and the corporations that run the USA, I call it USA Incorporated because it's really a corporation more than a democratic country. It's Let's face it, the USA is like a Coca-Cola logo. It's like McDonald's and Coca-Cola and Walmart. It's USA, USA Incorporated. It's all a lie. So I feel like no matter who, and like if the, if, if Bernie actually wins by votes, he's still not going to get in because the people that run the USA are lying, cheating, stealing criminals and crooks. Wall Street people, people are, crooks basically run this country. So basically, no matter what we do, Bernie probably can't get in. But I'm voting for him anyway, all the way. I'm not going to vote for the lesser of two evils. I've done that before. Fuck that bullshit. So I'm not going to vote for the lesser of two evils. I'm going to vote for this, the person I actually want, which is Bernie Sanders. Uh, because he is ethical and he acknowledges the dark, shitty reality that polit that money in politics is ruining our political system and has for a long time. And that the wealthy in this country are rewarded for being wealthy and the poor and the middle class is pretty much dead and dying and disappearing. And most people are either extremely poor or extremely rich. And that is not a healthy society. And Bernie is the only one who flat out says it like it is and talks about how fucked up our country is. And I know I sound angry, and that's because I am angry. So sorry, I can't be nice right now. So I'm going to vote for Bernie no matter what. And I think the powers that be are going to put into office whoever the hell they want. Probably the woman that's running Hillary Clinton or one of the horrible Republicans, but whatever. Whatever. Does it even matter? Is she even better than them? She says things that sound a little more humane and a little bit better, but where she puts her money, money walks and money talks. So if you look at how she's funded, the fossil fuel industry, the bankers, the lawyers, the, you know, it's not exactly very progressive if you follow the money trail. So, and it's pretty naive to think that she'll do the right thing despite where the money is coming from because why would they be paying her lots of money unless they believed in her ability to support their industries, okay? So she, I don't really think that Hillary Clinton is for the average American. I think Bernie Sanders actually cares about the poor and the middle class and the low income and the elderly and the children and the environment and the earth. I think he actually cares about international diplomacy and he cares about there being less war in the world and he doesn't think we have to have war. I think Hillary thinks you got to have war because that's the way it always is and it's like 
the United States needs to like step up and stop being stop being a big fan of war and going around and policing the whole planet. That only creates more terrorism anyway. And I'm somebody who believes that war is legal terrorism, like bombing the shit out of people is legal, a form of legal terrorism. And terrorism is illegal war. Terrorism is when some independent, weird, fanatical people decide to be violent and do horrible, violent things to people. And war is when the military of certain countries, mostly the United States, decides to bomb the shit out of people or fly drone and just fucking kill people. And why is that? And we're, we're trying to kill the bad guys. That's not a good thing to do. I don't think that's, even if we kill the bad guys, it's not going to solve the problem because it's just going to create more fear, more trauma, more post-traumatic stress disorder. And that includes the United States of America's soldiers and veterans. They, a lot of them have post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of police officers have post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, this country, the USA, is a very violent place. There's lots of weapons and violence and anger and hatred, and it's horrible. And Bernie Sanders at least acknowledges this and how we need to fix this. We need to make this society better. And I know it's not up to politicians to fix my life. Somebody recently said that, you know, politicians, even if Bernie was president, it wouldn't fix your life. Okay, fine. Every single person has the responsibility. Be the change you want to see. Okay, be the change you want to see. Try to be a better person yourself. Part of what I want to do is vote for a politician that I actually believe in. So Bernie Sanders is the only presidential candidate that I actually believe in and agree with what he says. And he's very brave. And it's really sad that people say it's not realistic that he could win. He's the only guy that I want in there. So it's ridiculous. If our system is so fucked up that we can't have a real human being in the White House that actually wants to work for the poor people and the middle class and make not punish the wealthy but make them pay their fair share of taxes so they can be more ethical and reined in not that all wealthy people are bad but come on wealthy people are the ones that can afford higher taxes so they should definitely pay higher taxes so there it is i think ronald reagan is the one who first messed it up for us and you know what's funny ronald reagan is a distant relative of mine my grandmother researched it and in ireland both Ronald Reagan, the name Haig, is in my family and Ronald Reagan's family. And apparently in Ireland, way back, many generations ago, Ronald Reagan's family and my family mixed together. So it's weird. So he's a, Ronald Reagan is a distant relative of mine. Isn't that weird? So I think it's cool that he was an actor, but I'm not, I don't like his uh, presidential legacy that he left behind, which is to turn the bull loose. I think Ronald Reagan said in the 80s, we're going to turn the bull loose now. I think what he meant is we're going to deregulate Wall Street, deregulate, um, have free capitalism, which means that corporations are allowed to be sleazy and rip people off and not pay their taxes and have offshore oil accounts or whatever it is they do. The loopholes that to avoid paying taxes so they can hoard the money and pay their workers slave uh, labor wages. So basically, I'm just doing this video because I'm very angry, very cynical. I'm voting for Bernie no matter what. And if he's not on the final ballot for president of the United States, I'm just going to take a marker and write his name in and say, Bernie Sanders, I vote for Bernie because I'm not going to fake it anymore. I'm not going to fake it. So there it is. And then I'm going to try to live my life as much off the grid as possible and not buy into any mainstream bullshit. Like most mainstream food I don't even eat. I get my water from an artesian well. I try to get as much organic food as I can. I recycle and I compost everything. I shop at thrift stores. I go to food banks. I don't buy a lot of toxic chemicals. I use coconut oil on my skin. I don't shave my armpits or my pubic hair. I shave my legs, I guess. I don't really usually even wear makeup. You know, I don't buy into a lot of the mainstream stuff that people just go along with mainstream and think they have to do all this mainstream stuff. The most mainstream thing I have is a smartphone, I guess. <laughs> For a living, I'm a nude model, so that's not mainstream either. Whatever. I think everybody should just follow their heart and do what they really believe in and do what they love and then just let go of the end result. 
I mean, there are times when I think about leaving this planet because I'm so stressed out and I'm so tired of thinking that the whole point of my existence is to make enough money to pay my bills. It's really depressing. So, okay, there's other personal things I could say, but I guess I won't say that. So let's just say I'm a little angry and just wanted to do a video about how I think the United States of America's system is, is a lie in terms of voting. I went to the caucus. It seemed very primitive and disorganized. I voted for Bernie. I volunteered to be an alternate delegate. So I will vote again for Bernie if I have the power to do so. I wish the superdelegates would vote for Bernie, but most of them seem to be voting for Hillary, so whatever. But I basically think that no matter, and then somebody said if, if Bernie loses, if Bernie um, doesn't, isn't allowed to be on the final ballot, then he could run as an independent which is cool. I'll vote for him if he does that. If he's an independent or a Democrat, I'll vote for Bernie. I love Bernie. I don't care what party he says he's from. I love Bernie. I love his ideas. So who cares what label he fits under? He's a good human being who has good ethical ideas that would actually promote real democracy and not fake, over-capitalistic, fake democracy that we have now. If our system is as messed up as I think it is, if Bernie runs as an independent, and we vote him in and he wins, he won't win because our system is a lie. So therefore, I will vote for him no matter what he does, whether he's an independent or a Democrat or not even on the ballot, I'll just write him in and vote for him. But we don't, the, the person who becomes president doesn't win because of my vote. They win because of superdelegates and college electoral lobbyists and Congress and the Senate. They vote, they win. Whoever gets into office wins. I mean, I'm amazed Obama got in. They must have wanted him. The bankers must have wanted him in because how did Obama even get in? I mean, I voted for Obama. I'm a little disappointed. I love the Obamacare healthcare and I think Obama's a good human being who wants to do the right thing. I'm disappointed in, in all the war stuff though. He seemed to continue on with the Bush war stuff, the Guantanamo Bay, the torture, the extreme prison, death penalty. You know, I wanted Obama to be more like Martin Luther King, more nonviolent, more progressive. But I mostly like Obama a lot. I, pr I definitely like Obama more than all the other people that he, that he won from. But I wish he was more radical like Martin Luther King. And that's why I really love Bernie Sanders, because he is extremely radical like Martin Luther King. I mean, to me, Bernie Sanders is more of a feminist than Hillary Clinton, meaning Bernie Sanders wants there to be a more fair, ethical society where women are paid as much equal to men and where children and old people and poor people are treated with dignity and respect and that people shouldn't have to live in such utter poverty when they're working hard, you know? So Bernie wants wages to go up in this country for the low-end people and wages to go down for the extremely wealthy people who don't. Nobody needs to make $500 an hour or $10 million a year or whatever. So they should at least have to pay a lot of taxes if they make that much money. So I th again, I think Bernie Sanders is more of a feminist than Hillary Clinton. That's my own personal opinion. So because I, I believe that he wants more equality for all. And to me, being a feminist means that you, you don't believe that men should dominate the world. You don't believe that there should be such an us and a them. And Bernie Sanders believes that there should be more fair wages and men and women should be equal in terms of how much they're paid. And women has a woman has a right to choose what to do with her body, whether she has an abortion or gives birth or gives her baby up for adoption or whatever. It's on her own personal choice. And that's a very feminist viewpoint. So, and as well as not being a big fan of war, you know, Hillary seems to be okay with lots of war, Bernie not so much. So to me, Bernie's more of a feminist than Hillary because he's more anti-war, he's more in the lines of Martin Luther King, nonviolent diplomacy, more ethics with finances, a more fair democracy, a more fair capitalism is what I mean to say like an actual democracy where poor middle class and wealthy people all have equal power in terms of voting and make more fair wages. And there shouldn't be such a, a there should be a more social service infrastructure in terms of healthcare and education and fixing the water in Flint, Michigan. I mean, there's just children in 2016 in the United States of America, we're extremely wealthy country. 
we spend a lot of money on war and military, and yet we can't afford to fix our water system, and there's children being poisoned by lead. I mean, that's barbaric and primitive. That's embarrassing and shameful and disgusting. Does this happen in other industrial countries? I don't think so. I think the water, I think they fix the water. Even in Europe, where I've been, they take the electrical wires and they bury them underground. And they, they and, and here we think it's too expensive. So in the United States, we have all these ugly electrical wires all over the streets everywhere because we think it's too expensive to bury them under the ground. So just there's an example right there how Europe spends money differently. Europe has amazing trains, gorgeous, gorgeous train stations where the entire society can benefit by buying a train ticket and commuting all over the place. I mean, I, I was in England recently, and I was in Norway, and I went to a lot of other European countries, and I traveled, and I rode these trains, and they're amazing, and they actually put money into their trains. So we should do that here. Okay, thank you for listening to my angry video. Yeah! So I believe that the USA should change, instead of this college electoral thing, and complicated primaries and caucuses, there should be one person, one vote. So in order to choose who the final Republican and Democratic, um, and we shall should have more than two parties, like most other countries have like five parties or at least three parties. But in this country we have two, Democrat, Republican. So in order to choose the two final candidates in the United States, I think that we should have a vote where we all just vote. There's no superdelegates, there's no college electoral bullshit. There's one human being, one vote. Whether you're a low-income 47-year-old like me, whether you're an 18-year-old high school graduate or somebody who just you know, started their adult life, or whether you're a senior citizen or somebody who's 90, whether you're rich or poor or middle class, you should just be able to have one person and one vote. There should be a general population vote. Everyone should be encouraged to vote, 18 and over, and then the candidate should be whoever gets the most votes instead of all of this weird, like, superdelegate, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, it's crazy. So it's ridiculous. So there should just be one person, one vote. Everyone's vote should be equal, whether they're rich or poor, young or old, whatever. That's the way it should be, I think. Actual democracy, flat-out democracy. So that's what I wish. And then the two final candidates would be voted upon in that way, one person, one vote, everyone's vote is equal, whether they're rich or poor, young or old, and then a, a, the final presidential election should be the two main candidates, general population gets to vote, whoever gets the most votes wins, that's the way it should be. So there it is, actual democracy would be nice. I'm voting for Bernie no matter what, there it is. This is Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen saying toodaloo, I'm angry, so Hey, feel free to write me with questions or comments. I don't seem to get a lot of comments on my videos. I don't know if people think I'm crazy or people think I'm weird. I am pretty weird, letting my freaky flag fly. But, you know, I am kind of an eccentric person. Hey, man, I took the road less traveled, and that's made all the difference. So thank you, Robert Frost, for writing that poem about the road less traveled. So if you knew my family history, you would understand why I'm so insecure. And yet I'm confident enough to do this video. So there it is. Yeah. Thanks for listening. My name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. I am a very insecure person that has enough confidence to do this video. I'm an artist. I'm a model. I'm a warrior Viking. I'm strong, and hopefully I will stick around on this planet as long as I can. Hopefully until I'm about 100 years old. So about 2068, I'll be passing away. I'll be 100 in the year 2068. I'll be 100 years old. I hope I can make it that long. There's times when I just want to leave the planet because of a lot of the stress that I go through. I have anxiety. I have OCD. I have depression. Uh, I've done a lot of therapy. I've read a lot of books. I take a lot of nature walks. I do a lot of my own personal kind of nature therapy. I have a cat that I love. So there it is. Yeah, I'm still alive. So there. <laughs> I'm a little angry today. Can you tell? Okay, so feel free to write me with questions or comments or say anything you want. If you hate this video, say, hey, I hate this video. If you disagree with me, that's fine. If you agree with me, that's fine. Hey, make your own video. Why don't you get your camera out and make your own video and say what you believe. Yeah, or not. See you later.